Galaxy S24 Ultra, I'm gonna give you five things that I am kind of turned off about this phone, so let's jump into it. The first one being the design. They haven't really changed the design all that much. Sure, the colors change a little bit and you get a titanium frame, but just the look of it in general looks eerily similar to the past phones that the S line has put out over the last few years. It's very, very similar. Um, this has a flat display, but when you just look at them side by side, you don't notice a lot of differences. Here's the S23 Ultra on my left hand. You know, everything pretty much looks the same across the board. It's really difficult if you're just looking at these real quickly to notice much of a change at all. So I really would have liked to see them throw in a different design with the S24 Ultra. Hopefully we'll get it with the S25 Ultra. That's the rumors anyway so far, but design is not one of the things that's terribly exciting about this phone. Charging speeds, we're getting the same exact charging speeds for the last few years here. 45 watt will be the fastest charging speed you can get wired and then 15 watt on the wireless charging and then reverse wireless charging is if I'm not mistaken, 7.5 watts of that as well. So nothing crazy in terms of any of that. They really need to take the next bump. Uh, wire charging needs to at least be 65 watt, if not faster. Wireless charging, they need to get it to 50 watt. If they do that, that would match what you get, at least in America, with the OnePlus phones. And I'd really love to see that. Um, beyond that though, it's it still, charges pretty well you know in terms of the speeds you do get it's just i would really love to see the much much faster charging speeds finally come to the s24 ultra now the colors on this display aren't terrible if you're not comparing it side by side to something like an s23 ultra or another samsung phone that's been released recently you really won't notice the colors being not vibrant probably but they are kind of dull when you compare them side by side you do notice that like the reds and the yellows, like the fluorescent, the bright type colors, just don't really hold up day to day versus again, a phone on like an S23 Ultra. S23 Ultra definitely has, at least in my eyes, more vibrant, uh, more colorful images. But the light at the end of the tunnel is there is an update reportedly coming to the S24 Ultra that will give it those vibrant colors again. Um, a lot of people think currently why it doesn't have it is because of the display that's anti-reflective that could be why but ultimately they went with a more natural look again it doesn't look awful it doesn't look bad it looks good it just if you're used to that super uh, vibrant vivid color look to the display it's not fully there yet price increase this is a hundred dollars more starting price than it was last year so you know everything from upgrading to trading in to just buying into these phones new you're going to pay a little bit more now samsung really does have good trade-in values usually it's up to 750 bucks sometimes more sometimes they have deals going on with the phone so it's not all lost in that it's you know a hundred dollars more but it still is something to take into consideration. It's not a positive thing that it's $100 more, obviously, but it is something to know and something to be um, aware of that you know, you're gonna pay a little bit more to get this year's version of one of the best phones on the market. And the last thing, I love it for the community, but having exclusive features on the S24 Ultra, those will be coming in an update, and I'm talking about the AI features, to at least, the very least, last generation's flagship phones from Samsung. So the phones that were released in 2023, such as the Z Fold 5, Flip 5, S23 line, S23 Fan Edition, all those phones are going to be getting these AI features that are on this phone right now. And obviously that takes away some of the luster, some of the shine on this phone in terms of exclusive features and exclusive things you could potentially only get with this. And you're gonna be able to get that with the S23 line, like I said, and it just kind of takes it away a little bit. I love that they do it, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying as a consumer, it hurts it a little bit to want to upgrade to it because those features will be coming to the older phones. But those are my only things that really, off the top of my head and that I've tried so far with this phone that I don't really love about it. Otherwise, it's an awesome phone, guys. It's really, really good. Don't get lost in the negativity of what I said because I have way more positive things to say and I will have a video about that very, very soon. If you wanna pick this up, I definitely recommend it. It's a great phone. Link down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.